This is Harold Foster. Hello, how are you? Oh, hello, Harold. Well, welcome, welcome to get off. Oh, thank, thank you, you. <laughs> thank you for coming. You're welcome, you're the passenger. Nice <laughs> 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 there we go. There we go. Thank you. That's a good one. That's a good one. Eh? That's why you sit. Yes, exactly. And keep on doing that. And no, sure. tell you go, 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 go. Pleasure having you. Pleasure to see you too. Thank you. There we go, you uh, were part of a historical occasion today on the first flight of Semi. Tell us, uh, how did it go? How was it? It was absolutely fabulous. I hope they keep the flight. It was quick. Um, the, the pilots were fantastic. The hostess was great. It was comfortable. message of support for an, an occasion that we have literally all come together to support. And as I stood through the singing of the national anthem and I heard sounds the call to come together and united we shall stand. Mm -hmm. It was wonderful because it's business, it's private sector, public sector. It hasn't mattered what race, colour, creed, sex, religion or political persuasion we are. We needed an aeroplane back landing in Margate. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, dames and yere, manene na manenegas, good evening. I stand before you, I'm incredibly excited, and today, when we gather to signal the new dawn in the life of our, of our beloved coast. Yes, Professor. Yes, Chairperson of MPA. Together we are very happy. I'm very happy also. It is indeed a moment of which all of us can be justifiable, proud. The CEO of SIMA Africa, Mr. Miles, and your management and your team, it was nice working with you. I enjoyed it. You know why? I enjoy working with people who bring results immediately. That is why I'm working with this team of Hibiscus Coast. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I went in into that plane. I looked at it, it's beautiful, but I didn't end looking. I sat where our pilot was sitting. <laughs> You see, sometimes when you are old, you wish you were still young. I did things which I was not supposed to do. But because I wanted to see, yeah, yeah, it's just like that. <laughs> Our region is one of those demarcated special economic zones, and our pillar are primarily tourism, this joy, and manufacturing sector. This evening, ladies and gentlemen, one is excited to see that one of those pillars is gaining momentum. For our region, tourism plays a vital role in the lives of business 
and ordinary citizens alike. As government closest to the people, we have played our role in ensuring sustained growth in this sector. We host annual events such as Africa Bike Week, the Women Golf Open Tournament, which you had uh, as is Joy talking about, many other sports and cultural activities which draw visitors from far and wide. <laughs> to this end, I would like to offer sincere words of gratitude to the collective team effort which has ensured that this day becomes reality. In particular, I would like to thank the following people. Margate Airport Action Committee, led by Mike McCarthy. <laughs> Provincial Treasury Crack Team, together with uh, our MEC, Umama Inakronye. <laughs> our Ugo South Coast Tourism, because they have been part of us when preparing for what we have today. The HOD, <laughs> the HOD for Economic Development, Tourism and Planning. I want to say thank you today, my son. You have done us proud. <laughs> and everyone else from the hospitality in the industry who played a role in this venture, I had the municipal manager also praising our ratepayers, our citizens, our business people, and those whom we forgot to say thank you, but we are saying thank you very much for everything what you have done. Ladies and gentlemen, it is not the evening for long speeches today. <laughs> Allow me to say once more how proud we are and also wish some, uh, all the best. I will be <laughs> using your line very soon. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. The tourist market is dependent on this, and this is the medium that can actually sustain our tourism on even the non-seasonal basis. It is, it is something that we are really, really looking forward to. Madam Mayor, historical day today for Margaret. Give us your views. I'm very happy when we see the same mayor here today signing the, our agreement showing that they are starting to work because of our disappointments which has happened prior but today I feel like I'm flying and we are really going to work together I can see that it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a dream come true because you have been working very hard to achieve this feat and indeed now that it has come we would want everybody to support the initiative. This is 
We've been waiting for six years to get flights back into Margate. And today a whole community came together, the South Coast community, stood together with a common cause and a common goal to get an aeroplane back landing at, at Margate and it did today. It's a wonderful day and what more can I say? As we can hear, everybody's rocking. Absolutely, it's a wonderful celebration, it's a wonderful party and uh, yeah, together we've done more. Max, it's been an historical day for the Hibiscus Coast. What is your take on it as municipal manager? Um, for me, uh, this day uh, has shown all of us uh, to say if we work together, we can achieve more. Uh, because we have worked with the uh, business people of um, Hibiscus Coast Municipality, we have worked with the Red Pairs Association, we have worked with everyone. Uh, today we have seen how happy we are because of us working as a collective. If we can take this effort and we direct this effort in all other things, we'll achieve more as this municipality. There was a vibe today. Did you feel the vibe? Hey, I'm happy. I'm excited. You have seen me <laughs> dancing like never before. I'm, I'm happy. Nicolene, you've been the main organizer of this party tonight, the inaugural flight of Semi. Tell us, what did it take out of you for the past 10 days? A lot of hard work, but it was at the end of the day all worth it. When Miles walked in here yesterday afternoon, he said, the vibe in the Margate airport is electrifying, and that just made it all worth it. When that aircraft landed this afternoon and that water sprayed and they blessed the flight, tears were running down my eyes and it's the proud and it just made everything worth it. You know what, so many people mentioned this tonight, the same thing, and some of the top politicians here said they've never experienced something like this before. So there must be something that is driving this that is here. Are you the star? Yes. It's excellent. Pride, perfection. The service, that's the type of service that they can expect from Sam Air. Miles van der Moelen, CEO of Sam Air, you decided to fly down to Margate. What made you take that decision? A few things. Um, the South Coast is an area of the country we've had a lot of affection for over the years. Um, we came down here around six months ago and we could see that there was a need for the service. We could see the town was, was suffering without the service and it's our line of business. So we saw an opportunity and a need um, for a place we have passion for. So it all came together quite nicely. Previous efforts failed. Now why do you think this one will, will, will succeed? Most previous efforts were around the time when uh, Durban International was to the south of the city. Now with King Sharka to the north of the city and the recent um, traffic problems in Durban, um, Margate Airport is substantially closer time-wise than King Sharka. The two-hour trip to King Sharka seems to be a real issue for people from this area and we can fix that problem. Any, any, any uh, possibility of extending uh, the service? It's absolutely our intention to um, increase the number of flights per week. We'd like to get to a daily flight, however we realise you must walk before you can run and uh, two flights a week seems like a good place to start whilst we build confidence in the service and uh, get people to, uh, to drive the service. You know, it's, uh, We have the supply, we just want to see the demand grow and we'll be here as often as we can be. Early indications, sales of tickets, how are they going? Fantastic. We've been overwhelmed by enthusiasm um, for the service. The, uh, we have uh, had so many messages of support, uh, telephone calls, emailed people wishing us well. Um, we've already sold almost 400 tickets before the first flight took off and uh, we w weren't expecting anything like the reaction we've received. It's been brilliant. Miles, on behalf of everybody down here, thank you very much and good luck. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, well, I'm actually going up to Joburg for business. Oh, I've got a business down in uh, Margate and I'm doing some business up in Joburg. And uh, yeah, I hope the, the flight is going to be continued.